Christy, wake up! Come on, Christy, let's go play! Oh, she probably should have been doing a kid's voice there. What? What? Turn on the light. A teddy bear. A snow globe from Switzerland. A young girl's diary. Yes, we'll open it. The journal's locked. Oh no! There's a note taped to the side. Read yes. Finny, you'd better not try to read my diary. There's girl stuff in here, so keep out, love, Christy. Girl stuff? What does that mean? Girl stuff. It's just full of, like, rainbows and kisses and kittens. A young adult novel about a detective solving a murder mystery. Ooh. Girls love those. Basket filled with laundry. Yeah, let's look through the laundry. No, there's nothing in here but laundry. Math, history, foreign language school books, stacking up the books of brochures about traveling to Japan. Shelves aligned with several kinds of books from the mystery and high fantasy genre. One book is slightly out of place. Find a letter. Dear Christy, this place is pretty neat after all. The house is big with lots of room to explore. Some of the doors are locked though. And the outside part is really big. There's a river and even a waterfall. And today mommy found a turtle. Anyways, when you get back from school, we should go play. I have lots to show you. Love, Binny. Okay, small note. Hi, Christy. You never believe what I found today in your room? Another secret passage in the wall. See if you can find it. If you can't, ask me and I'll tell you. Love, Benny. P.S. I was only in your room because OG was hiding under your bed and I didn't read your diary. Suspicious. Any folded clothes? Oh. F oh, it's a nickel. I was hoping it was a key. Oops. Drawer is locked. Huh. Let's check this coat. Nothing inside except for an old faded movie ticket. Stack of school books. Dad was wrong. What? What does that mean? Oh! I found it! There was a secret... Next to the bookshelf. Oh... You had to walk next to it and press enter. A note... Dear Christy, how's my little girl? Are you helping your mother around the house? Are you getting good grades? When I come home, I'll be bringing you a special present for being so good. Love, Dad. Model airplane! Downstairs we go. Box wrapped in packaging tape. Something written on the side. Delivered to Culver City, California. That's not too far away from here. Thirteen. That's not an address. Not by itself, it's not. Lovely painting of a woman. The name Bonnie is written on the frame. There's something etched into the left side of the frame. Don't. Go. Back. But now that's all I want to do. Drawers filled with letters and postcards addressed to houses in several different states. Found Christie's dresser key. Oh, I have to go back now. Photograph of a man in a pilot's uniform standing by a girl in elementary school. There's faded writing on the back. St. Louis, first grade. Huh. Door's locked. There's nowhere to go but back now. Sorry, Bonnie. Benny? Does the note change? The note's the same, but it says Benny now on the wall. 
Oh, so this is probably the dresser. Christie's dresser key. The passage key. Okay. So, Benny was here? Ooh, box puzzle. Alright, let's go here and get whatever this is. A blue toy train car with the name Benny written on the side. Oh. I think I may have messed this up. Wait, no, nope, I can just do this. Christie's room key. Wait, there's something else inside. What is it? Hmm, it looks like a letter that never got sent. It's got a stamp on it and everything. For Tony only, it says. Maybe we'd better not open that. We can hold on to it and give it to Tony the next time we see him. What about this weird drawing that the letter's attached to? What is it? Ah, uh, well now, I'm not totally sure. If I had to guess, I'd say it looks like a set of plans for building wings, don't you think? It's definitely drawn by a little kid. Look what's written on the back. If I want to see him, I have to build wings. Hmm, let's study these plans. Maybe we could even build our own wings using materials from around this house. What do you think? Yeah! Let's build wings! Nothing ever goes wrong when someone builds wings! Okay, here are the plans. Get six feathers, get eight sticks, get glue, back stra backpack straps, fly to daddy. Six feathers, eight sticks, and glue. Seems to be the biggest thing. So six feathers, eight sticks, back st backpack straps, and glue. That shouldn't be too hard to find. Why would it be? I kind of want to check these out, but I've definitely blocked that in. We're going to do it like this. So that we can look at these. A teddy bear with a note attached. Dear Christy, I got you this bear from a shop in Oregon. Take care of it for me till I get back, okay? Love, Dad. Hmm, okay. Benny was here, is what it said. And he's given us some chests. Two sticks. And a feather. Alright, we're on our way to building wings. And we have the room key, which presumably will let us leave. Oh. Shh. Careful, Christy. You see them? There's so many fish. I want to eat them all. <laughs> Soon enough. We're going to be very quiet. We're going to listen very carefully. <laughs> when the time is right, you'll know it. But what if I don't know it? You will. Oh, uh, look, Christy. You see it? Where? No, I don't see it yet. I see it now. Get ready. And remember what I taught you. How? You did it! My little girl caught her first fish. Daddy, I did it! I caught a fish! I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. Oh! We just saw that vision, and now we're in a long hallway, and these lights are on. So one of these lights turn on as we complete things. I immediately want to step on this. Oh, it's a door. It's a bathroom. Oh, so much stuff. Gotta fill the sink with water. Why wouldn't we? Also, our mom's not with us. Oh, she doesn't follow us into bathrooms. So that's still the same. 
Large bathtub, shampoo. Doesn't seem to be anything to do in here. This is a big house. Let's be systematic about it. Locked. Locked. I'm guessing the lights maybe are a clue here. Oh! There's a bunch of holes. This letter on the ground is to Christina's parents. I'm growing increasingly concerned about Christina. She used to pay attention in class and always completed her homework on time. Lately, however, she's been having difficulty concentrating during lessons. And in the past week alone, she's already forgotten to turn in her homework three times. The blue, red, and yellow switches downstairs must all be turned on in order to gain access to the attic. Blue, red, and yellow switches. Alright, they won't let me walk into those holes, or whatever they are. Can I leave this way? Oh, I can. The Aviator's Guide to the Northeast. Looks as though someone has written something inside the book. Thirteen steps in the closet. Hot pot of coffee. Stacks of neatly folded flannel shirts. There's a small empty box tucked beneath one of the shirts with a note attached. Benny found them, so we decided to throw them away. Please don't be mad at us. They aren't good for you. Love, Benny and Christy. Huh. Cigars, probably? There's a piece of paper inside that looks as though it was torn off a larger document. Reported that he is being teased and pushed around by his peers at school. Because he experiences rejection and teasing, it's difficult for him to build strong interpersonal relationships. Hmm. So I can't get doors stuck. That's different than locked. Another bathroom. Someone left an envelope inside a pocket of a pair of pants. It seems the children have found their own clubhouse. It's not in the trees, apparently. It's somewhere inside the house. Benny hinted at it today. I'm guessing they found a little room connected to one of the closets, perhaps. As long as they're safe, I don't mind. But could you keep an eye on them when I run to the store? I won't be long. Okay. Well, master bedroom is a little cryptic, but it looks like the meat of this puzzle is going to be in the basement. Let's check these side sections if we can. Oh, laundry room and a chest. Feather, love it. Another envelope. Honey, I'm worried about Christina. Her teacher called today with some bad news. I think we need to talk with... With who? The teacher? Well, now that I know there's feathers and stuff, I'm gonna check this one too. Okay. Basement! This is a huge house, you guys! Oh, something on the wall behind the towel. 13 steps in the closet. That again? What does that mean? Why do they keep saying that? Can I water these plants? Yep, climb up. Ooh. Two sticks. Don't know if you'll read, even read this, but I think you should look at what your daughter wrote. I know it's not easy, we're all suffering right now, 
But you need to talk to her before it's too late, Tony. She needs you right now. Delivered to Indicott, New York. Oh! Interesting. Gotta keep a lookout for those plants. I think there was one somewhere else, too. A red children's backpack with detachable straps! Yep, gonna need those straps. Blue power source on. Check. Stack of postcards, I've been tied together the string. Most are too faded to read. Make out the writing in one of them. To my family, just made it to London in record time. And it's a good thing, because they tell me that a giant storm is coming in. Be good to your mother, and eat your vegetables. I miss you all very much. Love, Dad. Clock. Beautiful painting. Someone has etched something into the bottom right side of the frame. He's not crazy. Sounds like something a crazy person would have to say about him. Ooh. Something written on the side of the box. Delivered to Westminster, Colorado. Stack of books. Stop picking on me. Crazy. Huh. Another feather. Getting close to making my wings. A record player. Filled with books from around the world. Oh, one of the books looks a bit strange. As you open the book, you can see that it's been hollowed out and turned into a secret box. Dining room cabinet key. Which room is the dining room? Down here, maybe. This seems like the entryway. Like a foyer or something. This looks like a dining room. And this is probably a dining room cabinet. Did I not open these? Really should have. Several folders containing travel records and airman certification and passports. Letter inside addressed to Christina's parents. It's sad to see this decline in Christina's academic performance. She was once one of my most brilliant students. But now she's failing almost every subject. If possible, I'd like to schedule a meeting with you next week so that we can further discuss the situation. Yay, money! All right. Shelves are drawn with antique tea sets and decorative plates. Let's head into the kitchen. Hello? No phone answering puzzles? Grocery list, potatoes, peas, lima beans, milk. Okay. Not much going on in the kitchen. Everything seems to be broken. As far as the electronics, except the lamps work, I guess. Secret stash of candy bars. Did I take them? I'm just going to look at a secret stash of candy bars? Yeah, right. Door is locked. Oh, did I go in here? No. Oh, I see more switches. Box is locked. Two switches in this room turn on their corresponding power sources. Those power sources are color-coded and located throughout the house. Different on and off combinations will affect different things around the house. Uh. Okay, so we've opened up something else. 
Christy, I don't want to go. They pick on me. Harsh. All right. I think we just opened up a door. Oh! He's absolutely perfect. I can't believe how much he looks like Christina. You're a big sister now, Christina. How do you feel about that? It makes me really happy. I feel like I I've waited forever for a baby brother. You'll finally have another cub to play with. I'll teach him everything I know. I'll teach him the best games, the best hiding place spots, the best places to fish. I'll be the best big sister ever. I'm sure you will be, Christy. I'm sure you will. Okay. Letter here with children's writing on it. You can tell because of the crayon. Dear Christy, while you were a big kid at school, I found this room full of baby pianos. Pretty neat, yeah? But here's the bad part. They're all broken. Each piano only has one key that works. Weird. If you want to play a real piano, though, uh, there's one of those downstairs. Love, Benny. Okay, so... Brute force! Uh huh. Nope. This one. We're gonna get it. There's only so many combinations. Okay, I got it. Boom! Didn't even have to go downstairs. Although probably this is where the solution is. Piece of sheet music with a simple melody sitting on the piano. That was the solution. But it was brute forcible, so... Oh, this is going to be important, probably. So, there's an extra, there's one more knight than there needs to be, and one more rook than there needs to be. And there's two, there's two queens, three rooks, and three knights, and two kings. Unless that's supposed to be black versus white. In which case, they're really, I guess it is that those are the white pieces, and there's four black pieces. Okay. They're both really dark gray, so it was kind of confusing. Huh. Rook, knight, queen, king. I'm going to have to come back and look at that, probably. But that's a solution to something somewhere else. Okay. Sear that in your memories, folks. Anyway, we're going to go downstairs. We're going to flip the red switch. And now we have two switches to play with. My- oh, it says my. My. My what? Okay, and if we do that... Oh, if we do that, it opens the chest. Two sticks. Okay. Now we're gonna go to this other room. And I bet there's a chest set in here. Just, just guessing. Wait, nope. We need this. Okay, Benny. Uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to be a detective. Yes, I wanna learn! First things first, we bears have a really good sense of smell. 
It's our most important tool. More important than a magnifying glass? Yes, even more important than that. See, watch. I'm gonna close my eyes, and using only my nose, I'll find us some mushrooms. Mushrooms! Wow, you didn't even look white! See what I mean? The next thing you need to know when you're looking for a bad guy is how to track their footprints. Bad guys always leave footprints! It's true. See these footprints? A bad guy made those! You're totally right, Benny. But that's not all. Check this out! There's honey in here. <gasps> Who put that there? You caught me! The bad guy is dead? Run! <laughs> Your detective skills are too good for me. That's a fun game that they played. Oh! I was right. Except that this is a pawn instead of a queen. It's in the same position, but it's a pawn. There's a letter on the ground. Dear Christy, when are you coming around from school? I have so much to tell you. I found another secret passageway, but this time it was in the closet downstairs. You know the closet downstairs where mom keeps the vacuum cleaner? It leads all over the house. There's a locked door up there too, but people were coming, so I had to run before I could try opening it. I think I found the key that opens that door. Let's try it later when everyone's asleep. Love, Benny. Secret passage key. Dun 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 dun. More chess rolls continued. Queening. Ah, we're gonna have to push the pawn all the way up to the last row, turn it into a queen, and then push it back where it is now. When your pawn reaches the other side of the board, you can place it with a rook, knight, bishop, or queen. This is called promotion. Most of the time, players choose to replace their pawn with a queen as it is the most powerful piece. This is commonly referred to as queening. Queen me! So we're gonna push this pawn all the way up here. Ba 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 bum! And then we just get infinite moves, apparently, because that's what happens sometimes. And the queen was right here. Okay, I'm glad we didn't have to move too much of the board. That would have been that would have been a bit of a pain. Alright, all the power sources are on. We have a secret passage key. Fault. My fault. We have all three combinations to work with now. That gets us the chest. Alright, that opens the middle door. Let's go check that out. Real quick. Real quick style. Oh, and let's check out this closet. That he's making such a point to have given us a key for. Oh-ho! Five, ten, twelve. Oh, man. Wait, are these different places to go? Why, does, why are there numbers written here? 
You use the secret passage key. Two sticks! Christina did not attend school today. Her classmates said they saw her sitting at the park during their walk to class. Given her failing grades, her inability to concentrate in class, and her social isolation, I'm recommending that she visit a specialist. Please contact me so that we can set up a meeting. This is for the best. Christina just just doesn't play by your rules. That's all. You just don't understand her. 5, 10, 12. Do we have to get 13 in the closet? Is that what they mean? 13 steps? And we've only gotten 5, 10, and 12? I hate moving, Christy. We move all the time, and I'm always the new kid. They pick on me. It makes me never want to leave the cave. I know, Benny. I feel the same way. But I'm taking you to a place that'll make you feel much better. Really, Christy? You're the best. I promise, Benny. You're gonna love this place. This is so neat! How did you find it? It's like a secret hideout. It is a secret hideout. Our secret hideout. We can make it our first official secret detective clubhouse. This is the greatest. Wait, but doesn't somebody already live here? Nope. Are you sure? What about the lanterns? A and the garden? Four spirits put the lanterns there. And the garden's just left over from the previous owner. Trust me, I've been checking on my walk back from school every day. This place is abandoned. You're right, Christy. I do love this place. And check this out. There's even a little cave that leads back to the main path. So if any bad guys try to catch us while we're doing our detective work, we can sneak out through here. We finally have our own place where no one can find us! Thank you, Christy! You're the best big sister ever! Come on, Benny. Wanna see what the cave looks like? Yeah! Train puzzle! Suddenly we have Professor Layton flashbacks! Ooh, we got all the feathers, we just need some glue. And we can put them all together. Children's comic book. Today, Christy and I found something really neat inside the secret passageway in the closet. There's another secret door in the wall that leads to a small room at the end. It's so secret that you can't see the door at all. You have to walk exactly 13 steps into the passageway from the closet. Then you can find it. We're gonna turn it into our clubhouse and use it for all our detective work. So that's what they mean by 13 steps. Socks, nickels. And actually nothing good in here. Teddy bear. Binny, my boy, your mother tells me that bears are your favorite. So I got you this for your birthday. Well, you name him. Love, Dad. Hmm. Don't seem to be able to do anything with the train set. It's just Binny's room, I suppose. Let's go down that secret passage before we go to the attic. Attic feels like in-game stuff. So, okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It was labeled for us and everything. I'm the worst sister. Oh. There's our glue. Dear Penny, I think we're the only ones in the whole world that know about this place. Isn't it neat? I brought some candy for when we get hungry and glue from school so we can build the model planes Dad got us. I'll meet you here after school. Love, Christy. Got some glue. Several toy bears need to arrange in a pile. The name Binny has been embroidered onto all of them. The official secret detective diary by Christy and Binny. Chapter 1, Invisible Ink. Did you ever need to write a message that only you could read and not the bad guys? Mix lemon juice and water to make the ink. When you want to read it, hold it up to a warm light bulb. This is how detectives do it. Chapter 2, Dustin for Fingerprints. After a crime happens, detectives dust for fingerprints. You can do this using baby powder and mom's makeup brush. Johnny, Dr. Killer, Mr. Evil, Roger, Alex, the Dentist. Those are all bad, bad dudes. And we can't get to the bookshelf. So it's probably not important. Anything in the couch cushions? No. Okay. Why are you the worst sister? Oh, hey, can I just make... Look at Christie's wing schematic. Six feathers, eight sticks, glue, backpack straps. We don't have daddy. Yeah, I'm done looking. Okay, I guess we just have to get to the right point where we can actually build it. Which I'm guessing is probably coming up pretty shortly. So let's set all the switches to on. And then we head for the attic, right? Yep. I can't wait to eat. Nothing works up an appetite like hiking all afternoon. Okay, kids, dig in. I'm not hungry. How is that possible? I had a big breakfast. He was snacking. Christy! Sorry, I mean, we were both kind of snacking. <laughs> it's okay. We're on vacation. You two can go play. Yay! If you're lucky, your mother and I will save you some food. <laughs> Benny, wait! Christy? Yes, Dad? Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? I will. That's my girl. What happens to Benny? I'm guessing we find out- oh, I'm- No, wait. I am controlling- I'm Chris- I'm Christy now. Don't jump in the water, Benny. What are you doing? Come back over there before you get hurt! It's okay, Christy! See, look! It's really strong! Come on, Benny! Stop joking around! Quit playing with your hubris! I'm supposed to be watching over you and... I just don't want you to get hurt! It's fine, Christy. You worry too much! Benny, please! Okay, okay, sorry. I'll get off now. Thank you. Uh oh, Christy, help! Benny! No one could have foreseen this and uh, this conclusion. There's no way to have predicted this. I'm sorry, Dad. Harsh. Dad. 
Dad, it's time for dinner. Dad? Oh, don't take it out on Christy. It's not her fault. It's an accident, and Benny did it to himself. It's okay, Christy. Your father's just very tired today from work. Why don't you come on back and finish your dinner? Okay, Mom. There you are, Dad. I've been looking all over for you. Dad? I think you should go home, Christina. But... I came to help you catch fish for dinner. Like we always used to. It's just... You always said... I'll go home. Mom? Yes, dear? Does Dad hate me? Oh, sweetheart. No, of course not. Your father just doesn't show a lot of emotion. There's a lot going on underneath. Lots of complex feelings and thoughts, but there's also a lot of love for you. He doesn't feel like it. He used to be different. I know, dear, but you must believe me when I say that he loves you very much. I'll try. Good night, Christy. Good night, Mom. Whoa! This room is a little messed up. Well, it looks like we have everything we need to make those, these wings. Let's get to work. <laughs> Hun, can you hold this feather in place while I glue it down? Like this? Yes, that's perfect. We're almost done! I can't wait to fly! Wow, these are great! Do you think they'll work? They look pretty strong to me. I think it'll be fine. Well then, are you all ready to go? Yeah! Wait, that made enough wings for both of us? With six feathers? I don't think so. Hey, hey Tony. Tony? Hey kid, how'd you find me? Tony, are you okay? No. Nothing is right. Go ahead, dear. Give him the letter. Don't be afraid. Tony, we found this letter. Uh, it's for you. It's from Christy. Dear Dad, it's been so long since you last spoke with me. I miss when you used to take me up in your airplane. I miss how you would teach me stuff. Most of all, I just miss you. I know you go on more business trips to get away from me. I know you hate me because I couldn't protect Benny. But I will always love you. I'm sorry that I couldn't be the daughter you wanted. Love, Christy. Oh, Christy, no. No, I don't hate you. I love you so much with all of my heart. You don't understand. What happened to Benny was my fault, not yours. I live each day of my life with so much guilt. Looking at you, you look so much like him. I didn't leave because I wanted to get away from you. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what had happened. I know that's selfish, and I'm sorry. But knowing you feel this way, I can't bear it, Christy. I love you so much, and I've only ever wanted the best for you. You'll always be my little girl. And he faded from existence. Chest! No, we need the chest first. Christy's journal. But there's girl stuff in there! 
Do, 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 do. Back to where we started. There's a folded note inside labeled to Christy from Dad. I'm sorry that I have to leave again, Christy, but to help you understand just how much I love you, I want you to have this. When your mother tucks you in tonight, promise me that you'll listen to this. And that you'll think of the song I always sing to you at bedtime. Even though I go far away from work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Love, Dad. And we got the door out! Let's blow this popsicle stand! Daddy, I can't sleep. It's already an hour past your bedtime. Christy, how can you not be sleepy? Did your mother let you have extra honey again? <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sing you a song. Your songs are the silliest. La la la, me me me, so so so. What are you doing? Warming up my voice, of course. And no warm-up would be complete without a... ROAR! <laughs> Daddy, you were the funniest. Is that the song? If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. Maybe I'll even shout out loud or do a funny dance. Ha ha ha, even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little. And that would be our music box song. Good night, Christy. Mori no Kokoro Part 2. Boing. We've lit up another light, another rune. On the path to waking him up. Huh? Where'd all the bears go? Hmm, I'm not sure. But now that we know Tony's song, we can finally have Blacksmith Jackie fix that music box. We better run there. Why is that? So that we don't accidentally forget the song before we get there. Ha, <laughs> you're right. Let's go. And so on and so forth. Hey, we'll come back, guys. What can I do for you? We know the song, we know the song, we know the song! It goes like, I've got a lovely bunch of- No, I've forgotten it! Huh? Jackie, we know the music box's song now! You do? Well, that's fantastic news! I'll get right to work! We'll have this bad boy up and running in no time! Deet, 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 deet. My music box! T Tony Bear in my hut! That's a bear! That's a bear in my hut! I'm um, so. Take whatever you want! Please, please, please don't! Just, just. Not the face! Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Little Lebo, did you fix my music box? This music box belongs to Tony! Yes, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. It's just. He really looked like he needed help, but. I didn't know how to ask. So the little Libra did fix it. If I say yes, will you not eat me? I can't believe this. 
You don't even know what this means to me. I, I can't thank you enough. I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. You are much nicer creatures than I give you credit for. I guess I've just been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only do I promise not to harm your village, I also promise to protect it. I owe you so much. The least I could do is show you my gratitude. I, well, uh, are you not going to eat me? Thank you, Tony Bear. Thank you, all my new little friends. Bear Guardian, get! Mom, look! It's another door! Should we see where it leads? Yeah! Didn't get a choice. We're just going straight in the door. Because I kind of wanted to turn in those things and go to um, the festival. But who's there? I thought I told you stupid nurses to leave me alone. Christy? Hi, Dad. I'm glad you're here. Me too, Dad. 